this episode of Pickleball Breakdown, one play just wasn't enough. So we head to Seattle, Chicago, Boston, even down to Mexico. Six plays in all and we throw them all at Alex rapid fire style. We're not gonna break down just one play. We're gonna break them all down. Here's how this works. You send us highlights, great plays, good plays, and not so good plays. With the help of Coach Alex Fox, we break it down. You learn, we watch, and we all get better. This is Pickleball Breakdown. I look at a lot of video for this show, and not all of them you can break down end to end, but I do get lots of them where there's little bits and pieces here. So let me just show you some of these plays, just rapid fire like this. And what I want you to do is just get, as if you were standing on the court with these folks, you know, give them some words of wisdom, give them your encouragement. What would you say to them if you, if you were on the court with them? Are you, are you game for that? All right, bring it on. All right, let's start with this one. We got Dave over here on the right. I want you to focus on Dave. Like a few episodes ago, we had the uh, half-ass Ernie. Well, then this would be the no-ass Ernie. This is the worst Ernie in the history of Ernie's. Ernie would be embarrassed. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, it's not. No. <laughs> poor Dave. What would you say to poor Dave on this uh, failed Ernie attempt? What are you looking for? I'd say keep going for it, man. Like, you're, you're not gonna always hit a home run on an Ernie. But if you miss it, even if you miss an Ernie, you're still putting that pressure on your opponent. They're still thinking about, oh God, this is a possibility. You know, so you're making them, again, think about just another element. No, I, I like it. He mistimed it a little bit, but you know, it's okay. Dave, I'm sorry I called your Ernie a no ass Ernie. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. In this video, we're gonna take a look here on the guy on the near court on the right hand side. He does a really nice job of getting that dig there, and then he moves up, really patient moving up. But then watch what happens. As he comes back up to the net, he's gonna take a stab here at this one and hit it into the net. He just gets so frustrated. So what would you say to this poor guy here? First off, don't lob from a defensive posture. Uh, so he lobbed from about mid-court when he was moving to his right, and it was kind of a, uh, a Hail Mary kind of a thing, just a desperation lob. Desperation lobs aren't much of a thing in pickleball. They're not usually successful. You, what you want is a, de a desperation drop shot, I guess. Um, so that alone put him right back on, on his heels. Let's take a look at this point here. This one turns into a gun battle here at the line as they all come up and then they just start firing at each other. It ends up poorly for the team on the right. And the guy in blue there, he seems to be saying, I should have hit it to the left. Well, they were definitely in control of the point, so that's why he, he's frustrated. He went cross court instead of to the guy straight in front of him. And uh, yeah, that kind of set him up for, for failure. What would you say to the team in the far court there? That girl in the blue is really battling here to stay alive. She was fighting, she was fighting, and then it was a good choice to maybe move over there, but he didn't hit the shot. No, I, I like the post for sure. It was a good look. Um, they were clearly trying to go that same spot over and over again. Uh, he was maybe just a step tardy. Um, so just a lot of times when you're poaching, you don't trust your instincts right away. And that's why they end up just out or something. And also um, when moving, people tried to hit out a little bit too much. So that hitting it just long while moving is, is actually very common. This is video that was sent to us from some players down in Mexico. And I want you to focus on the folks in the near court, especially the woman in the red hat, who I love her enthusiasm. She, she, she's just so excited about playing pickleball right now and that like, little hop right there. Just watch this. Like her shots are high, her digs thick, you know, she's just getting the ball back and then they win the point. What, what would you tell this group about? What's the next evolution in their game? Try to go from probably being happy with just getting the ball back over the net to having a plan with what that should look like, what that next ball should look like, and what the, the next shot that you're hoping to set up should look like. All right, keep your eye on the poor fool there in the far side on the left. Watch the shot here. So he hits what he thought is a shot that's out of bounds and then throws his paddle down and steps into the kitchen, but the ball ended up being good and they should have won the point. And yeah, that's me over there. Wait, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Wait, what? You want me to run, so you you me to run this through the kitchen? Again? Yeah. So it was you a, wanna, you're yeah. saying it was a fault? Well, I don't know if it was a fault or not, but... So this ball that you stab at goes in. Goes in. That ball's in. And I was so frustrated, I threw my paddle down and then I walked into the kitchen. So they called a fault on me. That's not a fault. 
I should have been a fall. There's no reason. <laughs> no, you earned that. You worked hard for that point, man. Oh, That's your point. Really hard. No, 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 no. See, your momentum has to carry you into the kitchen. You can't if you just go in. I don't know. Yeah, you kind of screwed it up. Yeah, I really did. <laughs> yeah, that was just ugly. Let's just put this one behind us. Oh no, 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 you're not living this down. That's pretty bad.